Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm here with my precious wife. Gloria, and we are so blessed today to be bringing God's word Jesus. to you. Now, I know this has been a blessing to many of you, if not all of you, praise God. But then we would want you to help us take it further. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and then share this message to your contact. Share this message to everyone. Because there are people in your circle that need to hear this truth. And because our prayer every day is that this will bring healing this will bring restoration. This will set people's paths in order. Praise God. So please help us share this message as far as you can. And then keep your comments coming in. If you have questions, don't hesitate to send it in. We will, we will try to answer every question. Even if you, you just put it there on, on whatever platform you're, you're listening, we will, make, we, will, we will attempt to answer every question so while you're listening participate that's what we're encouraging you to do god bless you now before we go into today's broadcast can we make requests for our daily bread now today is friday so you are calling every need to be met this weekend praise god and release your faith for this i know our country is going through a lot right now but let me tell you the truth your source is not in the Nigerian government. Your source is in God. I know the truth. Because of you, God will spare Nigeria. And that's how we think. I'm not scared of anything that would happen because I'm here. God has have not told me, son, son of man, pack thy family. <laughs> he hasn't said that to us, praise God. <laughs> so, so I know He's not going to leave us here Strive. and he has, he has let the whole place burn. No, 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 no. The fact that we are still here, we are the salt. So we'll preserve, we'll preserve this nation. Nigeria will be preserved. Fear Amen. not. And, and, and some of us have been praying for this nation and God hasn't said otherwise. Hear me, hear me. Fear not. Fear not. You will rejoice at the end of the day. Amen. Praise God. All right, can we call for that daily bread right now? Say, Father, Father, I demand right now, I demand right now, and I receive, and I receive my daily bread. My daily bread. Every need of mine, every need of mine between, now and Monday, between now and Monday is met from heaven. Is met from heaven. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Angels go. Angels go. Bring forth my supplies. Bring forth my supplies. Everything. Everything. That it will be bread for me. That will be bread for me. I receive them. I receive them. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Receive a miracle. Amen. Receive a miracle today. Amen. Receive a miracle this weekend. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise oh, God. Hallelujah. Yes. So you were you were the one sharing yesterday. Yes. And and um, you were saying something, trying to say something about Yeah, after we had Okay, yeah. so just just go counseling and all of that. And then we set the date for by the instruction of the yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah of course. Yes. You know, now that's another very important thing. Several years ago, several years before this then, I remember I was coming back from church then you know and then i, I can't remember if i was in a taxi or on a the bike there it was many years ago and going over that bridge you know between the, what we call the jabi lake bridge in abuja going over from mabushi towards kado going over that bridge there was this green land Side. By the by the lake, you know, on that side. And I just heard the Lord say, That's where you're going to get married. Now I wasn't praying about marriage. I wasn't I wasn't asking God where I, I just heard this. This was many years. I just I just said, that's where you're gonna get married. Now that's one of the things that I think gave me one little hope. That this guy is going to get married. Because <laughs> yeah, cause God, God, yes, because God has. Now, now, no, sincerely, I got to that point in life where I was wondering, will I even get married at all? Because 
because I was bound by the commitment I made with the Lord, except He shows me. And now, years are going. He's not showing me. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing is, nothing seems like, so, okay, look. But then I keep remembering, but that, God showed yes, me that where to get married. Mm. Now, so, of course, that meant the marriage was going to be in Abuja, you know. Mm. So, now, that's, that was there, you know. I think I told you this when we started planning. I said, come, this is what God had said. This is what. And that's another story on, it on its own. <laughs> so go on. <laughs> when we get to that bridge, we'll yeah. cross it. Okay, so by the word of the Lord, um, we had fixed the date for 26th. Of, 26th of January. Of January yeah. Yes, that's for that's the 20, 2023. No. 2013. Yes, 2013. <laughs> 2013. Yeah. So that was going to be the date for the wife. Yeah. The trad. The of course, the trad. Yeah. You know, all those family things yes. were going, but we didn't consider. Now, of course, you see, uh, um, uh, let me explain something here. Sometimes people get confused as to these things like, okay, which one is the main wedding? Is it the trad? Is it the. The white. the white or now we understood that the main thing is the family of the girl who said this is what it takes to marry our daughter mm. and sincerely if you meet those criteria which you shouldn't argue mm. now of course you can plead but don't don't argue you know sometimes like strive. like this your family list is too much what kind of thing is this mm. are we no <laughs> No, She's if you want to marry my daughter, I'll tell you what it takes to marry my daughter. <laughs> oh yeah, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. and, and and sincerely, it doesn't even have to be money. You understand? But you can't say you want to marry someone important and you just think you just take her off the road like that. You won't take that person seriously. So when sometimes when, when when families puts a high stake on their daughter, I think they are trying to tell you, look, measure up. This is serious business that you're coming to. And then if the Lord cannot help you then, how will he help you in the marriage in the itself? Marriage, yes. If you cannot trust God to help you then. meet up the criteria that the, the, the parents need. So ladies... Don't join that and eh, let me go and beg. Don't people want me to get now? Nah, I know sometimes people get unreasonable, yes. but you see, sometimes stand back and watch. See how this man is going to navigate these waters. It will make you respect him more. Oh, mm -hmm. Especially when there is no strife. Yeah, no, 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 don't, don't, don't ever get into strife or getting married. You're, you're setting a, a very yeah, wrong confusion, yes. uh, very wrong foundation, foundation. for your mind never get into strife never never so go ahead yeah so after we had fixed the date for 26th of um, yeah. january. Uh, january that was on a saturday sometime in november i think i started feeling this sharp pain in my tummy and i thought it was kind of like unusual so i talked to you about it and i also talked to one of my doctor friends in church then so she was like i think you should go you know do a scan so that we can check the pain because it wasn't anything close to any pain i've had before not even cramps menstrual mm -hmm. cramps because initially i thought it was that but it was more intense so i was like mm -mm, let me not just you know let this thing slide so i talked to you about it and on that fateful day at close of work, you came and then we went to the hospital. So when we got to the hospital, I was, you know, slated for the scan and then you were outside. So after the scan and everything, the, the doctor mm -hmm. um, told me, he said. Was it really a doctor or a, maybe, yeah, we, we, you know, they, they call everybody, the doctor, yeah, but the, the person who did the scan. Yes. Yeah, the person who yeah. did the scan. Yes. Yeah. So he was like, there's a fibroid and it's the position in his back. Like either uh, if you get pregnant, either you're going to lose the baby. Or you're not going if to you, get if you, it's going to be difficult to get yes, pregnant. Yes. And if you do, then it will always be early abortion. abortion. Yes, yeah. you're going to lose the baby. So that was like a tough one for me to swallow at that time. I'm like, okay. 
So it was like that. That's what was causing the pain, that intense yeah. pain in my yeah. tummy. And then sometimes you actually feel a bulge. You can actually touch, you know, the area where the pain is, and it's tough, and it likes it to come up and then mm. you know go down and all of that. So I was really uncomfortable. So he now asked me, was like, "Oh, that young man you came with, who is he to you?" I said, "That's my fiance." He was like, "Ah." Don't tell him this thing or don't tell him anything because, you know, some men will not like it. Just keep it to yourself. I said, hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on. I went outside. <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got my, my pastor there. <laughs> I told him, please come inside. There's something you need to hear. He was like, what? I said, no, you will hear it from my mouth. Just come inside and take a seat. So he sat down. So the guy was bewildered. He was like, what's going on here? It's this foolish girl that does not know to take advice. <laughs> so what's going on here? I said, sorry, sir, please, everything you told me, mm, in its detail, please, I need you to tell him. Tell him everything. He looked at me. I said, I'm, 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 I'm very sure about it. It's my record, and I'm, I'm permitting you to tell him. So tell him. So he told my my then fiance everything and he was like is that all he said yes he said okay that's fine let us go so we stood up did everything like okay bye and all of that i think that was one of the longest <laughs> <laughs> right we've ever had and it was very quiet you know how five minutes feels like it's an hour it was really quiet we were both quiet i had made up my mind that because my checklist was still on mm -hmm. and part of it was that any man that cannot go through life's challenges with me is not my husband i understand that everything will not go smoothly it could be financial it could be anything at all we should be able to believe god together, together yeah stand on the word of god that we know and we have held on to and overcome every challenge so when this one came i was like eh, eh, gang, gang. let me see what he's going to do and i told myself i said if he's going to say he's not doing again i'll say that's fine <laughs> okay that is true i was not going to tell him a lie i was not going to start my marriage on a false foundation hiding something from my husband i was not going to doubt the love of god because I knew that there was no way I would not have children. So to me already, that report was baseless. So I wanted to know what his own take was going to be. So that's why I said, okay, you know what? Tell him everything. So my mind was made up. <laughs> so on that trip, I decided to be quiet. <laughs> there was nothing else to talk about. So we, we, you want to, you want to say and something? I, I remember sitting down there and listening. So this guy show us the scan and explaining all the stuff. And then I said to myself, so when he said, child baths might be an issue unless we take out the fibroid. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And then of course, you know, even the positioning of the fibroid and all that, if there's any complication and the taking out of the fibroid, it will still affect so more like it's not a guaranteed something that and i said to myself i'm the only child of my parents <laughs> now i wasn't saying that selfishly i was saying that because of you <laughs> like i'm the only child of my parents sincerely i know that the moment i get married they may not say my parents can be matured and godly and all loving but i know that there will be great expectation exactly. for children exactly. and uh, this is not the story <laughs> to tell. this is not the thing that we want to start dealing with and then i began to ask myself a lot of questions i said lord is this what you were leading me yeah. into now now it's amazing because sometimes we feel oh god spoke mm. why then why, is there a challenge God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. Mm. He didn't just say, go in that direction. He said, my angel is leading you. He'll be a pillar of fire by night 
and a pillar of cloud by day. So there was no ambiguity on their journey. They were following this pillar. They were led. Where did the pillar lead them to first? <laughs> Red Sea. <laughs> right so, to a challenge. So, so, so like, okay, I've been following God. God, I've been telling me, go on, right. giving me wisdom, and then bam, Red Sea. <laughs> like, we may not have children. Is that possible? Now that's why that ride was long because <laughs> I, I couldn't say a word. Oh, was I couldn't say a word because what was going now? I wasn't talking to her, but I was talking to God. <laughs> I was like, okay, Lord, I don't think this is where you were. This whole thing was leading. I don't think we'll now start. Oh, I, you know, you know, sometimes you just try to so way to maybe we'll not have children, we'll now be praying and believing God, and then. After five years, after mm-hmm. you now say, "Oh, praise God," I, I, I said, "No, that's that's not no." no that no, wasn't. No. I couldn't have. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have been diligently following the Lord all this while, waiting on Him, and then now start this another journey of challenge again. I said no. So I said to the Lord, "I said, Lord, you need to tell me now. What do I need to do?" And then the Lord spoke to me. He said, I had told you that's your wife. And I have never told you that you will have issues with childbearing. He said, thank you, sir. And that's when I spoke to you. (laughs) Remember what I told you that day? (laughs) Don't cry. Don't, don't. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> come on <laughs> maybe you should keep talking <laughs> no, I've said my own <laughs> so that's why I said that's when I said to you I said God told me you are my wife and he never said we're going to have issues giving but and that was a wrap for me mm. now you see that's very important because like we said the fact that god started the journey doesn't mean challenges will not come mm. but you see moses when they got to the red sea sat down and was waiting for something to happen mm. and eventually god had to say get up stretch your hand over the sea and divide it mm. so i i knew all I needed to be sure again at that point. Now, this is what challenges do to you. Yeah. It brings you to that place of conviction again. Yes. yes. So you remind yourself of your conviction. Mm-hmm. Like, look, this is what God said to you. Mm-hmm. And that's how these testimonies keep piling up. Yes. Because at every point of challenge, we get convinced again. You know, not that like we try to get convinced, we remember why we started this journey. Yes. And, and then we still talk to God about the situation. About the situation, knowing that he brought us here. Yeah. So his voice will have to lead yeah, us. Exactly. His voice will have to part this sea for us. So, so that was that was it for me. That was yeah. that was the end of that thing. We never talked about it again. It we no, never we about never it. talked about it again. Yeah. That was that was just over. I never thought, I never even did you tell our parents? We did. We did. We right? did. We did. Because after you told me that. I just heaved, you know, a sigh of relief. But I was like, okay. It's more or less like you just passed the last test. So now I'm convinced that this man is beyond just being my pastor. He's going to hold my hand and walk through life. No, no matter the challenge. So I was just like, thank you, Jesus. But it was not going to stop there. We knew we had to also tell our parents as well. So I told my mom, I told uh, your mom and her dad. And these people are people of faith. They did not even, you know, they were not even discouraging at all. Yeah. They didn't even say, ah, ah, my son, how an only child. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that, that's because... Um, they also they were god they are godly people yes they also had, had gotten their conviction conviction from, from the lord that, that this, this is right is that this is here yeah. now i i wouldn't know this this is important if 
my parents were not godly people, I wouldn't know how I would have handled mm, telling yeah, them yeah, that part. Because yeah. not not for me now. You yeah. know, for me, I said, look, that's my decision. Mm. But for so, you, yeah. you know, yes. because as a man, you have to think to protect your family. You have to think to protect your, your wife. wife. So if an information is going to bring a challenge to your wife, you're the man. The, the truth is the box stops with you. Yeah. You know, but I think because we had godly parents, so it was easy to like, okay, see, That's this good. is what they said, but it's yeah. not a challenge. Not a challenge. Now, we didn't go into the details of this yes. is what yes. it might be. Yes. say, oh, yes. this is but yeah. you know, I know that. Already that praying, like, ah, it's not an it, issue. What is it? My you know, my, my dad's a man of my faith. So. Was like, like, <laughs> <laughs> my children will not be an exception. So all those things were encouragement for they were, us. You know, they were all encouragement serious, for us. So serious. now the coast was clear for us. You know, go forward. Then another hurdle we had to cross was the venue. Mm -hmm. The venue of um we were going to get so married. Like get like I said, no. Yeah. I'm an only child. And so, my parents were in Port are in Port mm. Have, Your parents are in Calabar. Mm. And you want to now come and do the wedding in, in Abuja. Abuja? Who born you? <laughs> 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 you know, but I, I don't think we have time to go into that today. Maybe we'll talk about that. If if the Spirit of God allows us, you know, and there's something to draw out of that. But then, we eventually got married in in oh no there's some we there are things to, to talk about, to talk about yes, there are some good details <laughs> there are things to talk about God so in the details. praise god so Hallelujah. so we believe next week is going to be awesome, by awesome. God. and like i said please share this um, video don't mind my wife you see see we are told you she has always been a baby so <laughs> i'm the lost baby and I never forget what God does for me. <laughs> Praise God. I'm so, so, so help us share this video, um, subscribe to our channel, and we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every challenge that your life is facing, right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let healing come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see God healing people with pain in the chest right now. Pain in the chest. I see, I just saw the hand of the Lord touching your chest area. I command that pain to stop now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I declare whatever is bringing that discomfort, let it go now Amen. in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. some some serious heart bones be healed right now Amen. be healed right now because i saw fire around your chest but it's healed right now in the name of the lord jesus christ and and, and we pray for families any family that the devil is attacking right now we command you, devil, by the words that we have spoken today, we command you to take your hands off this family. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. by reason of this word, we have come into an agreement and oneness with them. Yes. Therefore, you cannot touch them. Take your hands off now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you and have the best weekend ever. We'll see you next week. Bye.